very blue town, uh, in a very blue part of town. I consider to be one of those people, but when you listen to flyover uh, state people talk, their absolute hatred of Hollywood comes through. Uh, they they can't believe that that the that this is these are the people that we give million dollar lifestyles to go around the world, and what do they do as unelected emissaries of the United States? But the first thing they do is always attack it, and the, they get their thrills from it because the European press eats it up, because the European press is way to the left of the New York Times. So it's a self-perpetuating hatred, the hatred of America, and it, the, the Hollywood actor class that is mostly left of center loves to throw fuel on the fire. And so I've, I've, uh, what I've, the surprises, I haven't had surprises. They agree with me. Uh, will they be interested enough to, to hear what Congressman McCotter has to say about pop culture and politics? Do they care? Well, I, Congressman McCotter specifically wrote a brilliant piece that I couldn't write. If I spent three weeks trying to write something that brilliant, I couldn't. There is a lot of eloquence out there. Con Assemblyman Chuck DeVore, who's running against uh, Barbara Boxer, wrote a review of Valkyrie that showed his massive understanding of history. And it was a between McCotter's writing, Congressman McCotter's writing, and Assemblyman Chuck DeVore's writing, it was ten times better than what I read in the Los Angeles Times or Variety because these guys know history. These guys know what the Constitution is. These guys have a greater perspective on the world than the average arts and entertainment critic at your local paper who is exceptionally snotty, ex exceptionally narrow-minded, and in control, literally in control, of what Hollywood creates because they're the gatekeepers determining what's good and what's not. So I, I'd like to start creating a new breed of film critic, of television critic, so that the hard left isn't in the controls anymore of saying what's good and what's not. Okay, awesome, man. I know you're really busy, so I appreciate you giving me this time. Always, Luke Ford.